Good morning, lovely loopies, family and friends. Uh, let me tell you about last night. I had the roughest night ever. As you can see, I'm now sporting the lovely Victoria's Secrets gown that was given to me by the hospital. Yeah, let's talk about it. So, right after I did my last video, I started to get an aura. I kind of already knew I was going to have a seizure because, um, all the pain I was in yesterday. So an aura came and the seizure did not come. So I went around by my business watching some Netflix because I had to do the sleep deprivation where I had to stay up to 2 a.m. So I was drinking coffee, doing any and everything to stay awake. Well, <clears throat> let me tell you, at midnight... Boom, out of nowhere, I'm sitting there watching Dynasty on Netflix. I close my computer and get in a comfortable position because I was trying to reach for the my little button here. It's in this bag. So when I feel like I'm <clears throat> getting ready to have a seizure, or when I'm having one, I'm supposed to call the nurses with that button. And an alarm goes off. So on, so on. Yes, I did have a seizure last night around 3 o'clock in the morning. My good old Achalasia wants to act up and I threw up everything that I ate all over the bed, all over my clothes, all over the floor. Um, and mind you, I didn't even eat a lot yesterday. For breakfast I had cornflakes and banana, um, for lunch I had tomato soup. And for uh, dinner, I had, um, God, what did I eat? Um, oh, it was a veggie burger. And I had that with some Crystal Light peach tea. That, and I had an oatmeal cookie. That's what I had. And, yeah, it was a mess. So, literally, I, oh, and I had to get back up at 6, okay? Literally, I, I had about maybe a good three or four hours of sleep. Still in pain, my back hurts, not as much as it did yesterday, but it still hurts. I was I just had a rough one. A rough one. So this morning I was told before I could even go home I have to at least have one more seizure. So I ordered my breakfast, I ordered um a boiled egg and two blueberry pancakes and some coffee. Ate that now I'm recording. <clears throat> I just got done watching Cora. If you're watching this, I love you and you're so strong and beautiful. And you know, your nurturing is already there as far as your daughter is concerned. You're gonna be a great mommy. You are a great mommy. <laughs> okay, cause you're strong. You're strong, you fight. And now you gotta fight for her even more. And everything that you were saying about the pain meds and the doctors and all that is so true. I had to wait eight hours for one Percocet that did not do diddly squat because I was in so much pain yesterday. Now mind you, when I'm at home, I usually take three at the, at the most. Sometimes I take two at a time just to get that, that um, edge off the pain. But when you're in the hospital, they don't, they don't do that. They don't want to be looking at you like you're a junkie, like you said, Cora. And, you know, people are just suffering. There's too many people, like you said, Cora, in the hospital right now. And we're all going through something. And it's just ridiculous. And we do need to stand up together and be an advocate for each other and other people that have lupus. And other diseases, like you said, Cora. They look at us like we... We, we asked him for crack or something. And we did not ask to have this illness. We did not ask every morning to have a big old moon face, swollen hands, seizures, hair loss. We didn't ask for this. But I know by God's grace, we're gonna all be testimonies for somebody else. We have to keep each other lifted up and in prayer as long and as, as well as our children because sometimes we have to be away from our children 
because we have to be here in the hospital. So, Cora, I want you to know that I love you and I appreciate everything that you do for the Lupus family. And I wish I was closer to you because, you know, I, I, we'd hang out every day if I was closer to you. Um, but, you know, it's all good. And I'm talking to everyone. It's all good. Um, keep everybody in prayer. Not just me. Keep everybody in prayer. Say hi. Check on everybody. Say I love you. Say how you been. Don't wait till we're in the hospital and we're sick and it might be too late. Check on each other. I'm going to get off of here because I got some phone calls I need to make. But I just want to tell everybody I love them. God bless. And I will do a video this evening. Um, I'm not going to do one for lunch. I'll just do one for the evening. So love you guys. Thank you again for the encouraging words, letters, inboxes, and things that you've posted on my timeline. Talk to you later. God bless. Okay, I thought I was done with a morning recording. But now I'm sitting in the big chair. All the way down to my wee 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 feet. I'm um, very do bicycling. Um, and I just saw the physical therapist, and he can't really do anything with me until I get these things off my head. So now I have to wait for that. But obviously, I'm gonna have, like I said, I have to get another um, have another seizure before I can go home. So, I will talk to you guys later. Um, um, again, thank you for everything. Peace out.